Welcome to this Tobacco University video. I'm going to go over a whole plant harvest process of cannabis. Tune in at the end where we'll see a great example of an entire plant. And if you're looking at implementing this particular method, it might be a little bit more challenging. All right, let's get into whole plant harvest process regarding cannabis. So first off, the whole plant harvest is a very simple process. Many growers prefer to uh, whole plant harvest simply because it's easy and does not require a lot of detailed or very attentive eye. Taking the whole plant, cut it, move it, next step. Especially for larger operations that may have a variety of people harvesting, it's a very easy and standardized approach and it's simple for everyone to follow the same process. A head grower can kind of come in, say we're taking all these plants and it's just kind of repeat. Cut the entire plant down, transport, repeat that process. Cut the entire plant down, transport. And there's no looking at determining, oh, is this bud ripe or is that bud ripe? Just that plant's gone, go right ahead. It also allows one pass through uh, the field or the area of growing. With whole plant harvesting, growers also do not have to return to the planting site, which is uh, great advantageous, at least for the main crop. If they're growing outdoors like this, they might be playing a cover crop, but at least they won't be dealing with the main crop. One uh, harvesting the entire plant also allows for better timing of the flushing process along with the removal of irrigation equipment. In addition, if a block of plants is removed, then this area can be cleaned right after harvest to prepare for the following steps uh, as an entire area. Not to like go through just one little section, large areas can be done which can be very efficient. For outdoor locations, this could be getting a cover crop planted. And if you're in an indoor location, this could be cleaning and sterilizing the area to get ready for another round or grow cycle of plants. Now that whole plant harvest usually can be, or can mean whole plant drying. So with the removal of the entire plant, this allows the entire plant to dry at the same time. Since there is a lot of plant material, this can often mean a slower drying process, which actually some prefer. So here there is some trimming uh, that was initially done, but we can see here pretty much the entire plants are being uh, strung up here uh, to dry in this particular dry room. Now, if you're making concentrates, just as an example, if the end product of the harvest is going to be concentrates, then whole plant harvest is advised, since the optimum ripeness does not need to be as exact for each individual bud as if you're going, for example, for dry flower. Now, indoor whole plant harvesting, so if you're an indoor grower looking at whole plant harvesting, they have it a little easier since they can control the environment around the plant and can uh, time the exact harvest day and time of the weeks, uh, within the week and in, in, in advance in some cases. So that means you can plan, okay, put it on the calendar in two weeks, we're taking down flower room four, for example. And it doesn't matter if it's raining outside, if it's hot sun outside, if it's snowing outside, if you're in a northern location, uh, you can plan that ahead of time. So that really Really is advantageous for the indoor controlled environment growers. They can put that date in the calendar and go through and take all those plants down. For outdoor growers, uh, they have a little bit more of a challenge, the, especially for large scale growers, taking the plant uh, at once saves time, labor, and money, but we can see that it is a lot of labor. Be aware of the weather, uh, wet and cold temperatures, and the increased odds of disease, for example, bud rot, developing in the flowers. Removing the plants as a whole reduces potential for disease spread uh, and other plants in the growing area. So that's why it's advantageous for outdoor growers, if you can handle the entire plants, to go through and to remove the entire plants. We see this uh, grow operation right here, pretty standardized size of plants, which is great. We're now going to get into going outdoors, looking at one plant that you may want to have second thoughts if you're considering doing an entire plant harvest, though it would be possible. Now, I'm often asked, how big can a cannabis plant grow outside in southern New England? Well, this is a fine specimen right here showing the effect that good soil can have on total plant production. This is just one plant to give you that general size orientation, uh, is producing uh, quite a number of buds. Again, maybe not the largest, most prolific buds, but for something that was just kind of grown outside in this kind of compost pile, uh, does provide you with some idea of just how big these plants can get, even in Southern New England that may have a more limiting season than other regions in the country.